look at the first principle that Jesus laid down in his, when he taught his disciples how to pray. And the first thing is, he said, Our Father. Remember when we're coming before the Lord, we're not just praying for ourselves and for our own situations. We are praying for God's will to be done. We're praying for his heart to be done. So we're aware of the needs of others. So we're praying for others as well as for ourselves. In Numbers 23 and verse 19, it says that God is not a man that he can lie. He does not change his mind. Has he ever spoken and failed to act? Has he ever promised and not carried it through? And we can encourage ourselves today and we can rejoice and remember God cannot lie. In Hebrews 6 and verse 18 it says it is impossible for God to lie. We can draw strength from that because as we believe his word and we take him at his word, he is standing by his word to perform it. He cannot deny himself. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 13, it tells us that if we are faithless, he remains faithful for he cannot deny himself. That is amazing. Just think about that. Many times we will fail God, but he remains faithful. Not just faithful to us, but faithful to himself, faithful to his word. He cannot deny who he is. He cannot deny the truth of his word. And John 4 and verse 24, it tells us that God is spirit and they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Again, he is not a man. He is the highest authority, the highest realm. And Isaiah 44 and verse 6, this is what the Lord says, Israel's king and redeemer, the Lord Almighty, I am the first and I am the last. Apart from me, there is no God. Apart from him there is no God. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 5. This is the message we heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. Psalm 34 and verse 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. 1 John 4 and verse 16. And we, so we know and rely on the love God has for us. For God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. Remember, love is not God. God is love. And as Reinhard Bunke says, that God loves you because he loves you. It's simple but profound. When we think about it, um, and we think about who God is, and we rejoice and celebrate, and we, we let him know, we worship him and praise him for who he is, we take that time. The first step in our prayer is to acknowledge who we are coming to, who he is, and, and everything about him, his heart, his character, his love, everything that he is. Hebrews 4 and verse 16 says, let us come with confidence to draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. That is wonderful to have confidence to come before the Almighty One the Lord Most High, the highest authority, the most superior one. Mercy keeps us from the punishment that we deserve and his grace gives us what we don't deserve. So we can quite simply say we cannot lose when we are in the love of God. We cannot lose. So I encourage you today to Train yourself to take this first step, this first principle, to worship Father God first. Who he is and everything about him. To meditate on the fact that he is faithful. He cannot deny himself. He is spirit. He is love. 
He is light and in him there is no darkness. He cannot lie. Uh, he is faithful. He is a mighty warrior. All of these things that we know about God as we worship him and we, we just praise him for who he is, we can get lost. And before we even ask for a thing, we've acknowledged him and we're worshiping him and we're opening our, our hearts up to meditate on who he is and we're calling on his goodness his faithfulness his justice his mercy and time of need but remember he's not a man that he can lie and when we stand on his word we are standing on something that it will endure forever it will never pass away. Amen.